Okay, so this is a version of the suicide implicit association test, which is a quick five minute test that measures the extent to which people identify with suicide versus life. And what people are asked to do in this test is when they see stimuli appear in the center of the screen, to classify them on the left or the right, depending on whether the word or, or image has to do with life versus death, and whether it's like me versus not like me. So for instance, if the word I appears, that's like me, so you hit the right of the screen. The word breathing appears, that's like life, so you hit the left of the screen. And what we find is that people who are suicidal respond much more quickly when death and me are paired, whereas people who are not suicidal respond more quickly when life and me are paired. And what that tells us is the extent to, the extent to which someone identifies themselves as being um, like death versus like life. So what we think is that people who identify with death, death is like me, are more likely to think about suicide and make suicide attempts, and that's in fact what the data have shown. We think this test has the potential to uh, both identify people who are thinking about suicide to detect suicidal thinking, and our data have also shown that it can be used to predict who's going to make suicide attempts in the future, and so has uh, potential clinical applications, both in primary care clinics, emergency rooms, and so on.